Hi everyone, today we're going to have a quick uh, look at a solution to this um, task relating to data structures. We will be using Python. An array stores 10 swim times recorded for one swimmer. Write a program that will ask the user to enter a time and the program will display a count of all the times in the data set. What is this thing, data set? Oh yeah, the array. The array of 10 swim times. The program will display a count of all times in this data set that are lower than the time entered. So the user enters a time and the computer program will compare that time with all of these times and count how many of these times are lower than the user's number. Make sure you validate the user entry. Only times between 49 and 60 can be entered into the system. The system will keep asking. Oh, the system will keep asking for a valid time until one is entered. And we're also going to create a sample array to help us do this. So let's do this bit first. Let's just create a sample array of swim times. And there are 10 of them, right? So we're looking for values. Uh, these are the user values, but we'll, we'll, they'll be around there somewhere. Okay, so 45, doesn't really matter. 36, 99, 54, 34. These are just swim times. It, it doesn't matter what their values are. Uh, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we've got 10 swim times. Brilliant. Now what are we going to do? Write a program that will ask the user to enter ask the, ask the user to enter the time. So that's the first thing we're going to do. The program will display a count. Make sure you validate the user entry. So after we enter a time, we want to validate the user's time. The system will keep asking, so there's some kind of loop happening here. The system will keep asking for a valid time until one is entered. Write a program that will ask the users to enter a time, it will validate the time, and the program will display a count. So process the count. Okay, so let's go up here and do this. So user time equals int input enter a time between 49 and 60. So that's the user entry. Let's just maximize this now that we know what we're doing. Now we want to validate the user's time. The system is going to keep asking until it gets a valid time. So we're going to use a loop to do this. We're not going to use a for loop because we don't know how many times this thing will be repeated. So I'm going to use a while loop, a preconditioned loop. So while this thing that I've called user time is less than 49, I don't want that, or it's greater than 60. So while the user is entering data that we don't want, we're just going to keep asking. We're going to get another user time. Invalid! Invalid data! Try again! Okay, so while the user is entering rubbish, we're just going to try and get another user time. Okay, so just to see what's going on right now, let's... Okay, when that while loop comes, when it finishes, and we come to line 12, let's just say a thank you. And let's just run what we've got at the moment and see if it works. Enter a time between 49 and 60. I'm going to enter 20. Invalid data, try again. 77. Minus 100. Okay, so this is all invalid. These are um, samples of data that we don't want. 56 is in the range 49 and 60, so this should be valid. Brilliant. We're out of the loop. Thank you for entering a valid time. Okay, so that works. Now we've got to process the count. So first of all, let's um, initialize a variable to store the result. So we're going to say count equals zero. 
And the next thing we're going to do is process. So for i in range len swim times, this is the thing that we're processing, I'm going to use a for loop to process the array because I know I have to visit every element in the array to compare each number with this user time. Okay, so I'm going to use a for loop to visit every element in the array. If user time is greater than swim times i, we're going to update the count. Okay, if user time is greater than the element that we're currently visiting in the array, i is helping us to visit each element, we'll update the count. The for loop will finish and let's display a result. There are count values less than user time. Oops, I just messed that up. Okay, so let's run this and just see if it is working. Enter time. Invalid. 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 Okay, let's enter 50. Thank you for entering a valid time. There are four values less than 50. Is that true? One, two, three, four. So there's a solution to the swim times problem. One of the key things that you're going to have to understand is that validation code. We're going to keep asking until the user enters a valid time.